evening, everybody. It's Friday night. It's 8 o'clock, and uh, that means it's Bay TV Life. I'm Vic Lee, your host on this Friday and, frankly, every Friday, God willing and, of course, ratings willing. Uh, tonight, we have uh, wonderful guests, and we have a marvelous topic, a topic that, that's extremely timely. Let's meet our guests tonight. Next to me, astrologer extraordinaire, Pat Brown. Thank you for coming, Pat. 20 years in the business. Uh, and an astrologer with intuitive abilities, as you told me. Well, Vic, I was listening to your prediction, and after looking at your chart, I think we should just be rest very easy, because you have this incredible intuitive I, skill. I do. Okay, you we're going to... Well, you glad really to, do. Because, so. folks, she is going to read my chart mm -hmm. a little later on, too. But I want to introduce also our guest uh, next to uh, Pat is Dr. Alan David Young, a uh, psychic counselor who also does a bit of astrology as well. That's right. I'm a psychic who does some astrology, and okay. <laughs> yes. Pat is uh, an astrologer who does some psychic work. And I, I did a little bit on your aura, so I'll share some Great. aura colors. Great. Wonderful. <laughs> hey, this is a treat for me. Uh, remember the last time Linda Georgian was on this show, she said, I'm, I'm the color of green, and that means I'm going to get a lot of money. Mm. Well, I'm not going to tell you if that happened, but <laughs> let me just say thank you, Linda, very much. Uh, I, I just want to mention, Doctor, that you are uh, um, uh, um, an author of uh, several books as well on the topic, and a lecturer, of course, and, and we'll get into all of your backgrounds. And Pat, you are a columnist, and you've lectured, uh, and, and you're also an artist as well. Right, right. Okay, both of you extremely creative. Thank you so much for coming, especially with this storm that our weather person <laughs> says is coming, and we'll, we'll see if, if our weatherman is right or not, okay? A little later on. Well, let's, let's ask you now, are we going to have what they call the storm of the season tonight? Um, you know, that's interesting. <laughs> I, I had someone drive me up here because I believed what they, um, what they were saying on TV. But there is tomorrow a real erratic, disturbing oh. energy force. So oh. it's going to be here okay. by tomorrow night for sure. Tomorrow night for sure. How about you? Yeah, I don't know that it's a storm of the, of the year, but it's a big one. It's, it is. It's, a, it's a big one. I think it's a, probably the biggest one we'll see in January okay. for sure. We have about a minute before we go into a break, but very quickly, I just want to get a little personal with you before we go into the predictions. Mm -hmm. How did you both get into this, uh, this field? Uh, oh, whoever sure, wants to go sure. Okay, I, I sort of stumble into it, as I like to tell people. I um, used to teach at Cal State Hayward for years and years and had a couple of businesses, green card and a business college, and I was also their associate dean. Well, all of those things sort of collapsed within a six-month period. I got a divorce, lost my job, business went, went bankrupt. And a friend of mine said, you ought to get a psychic reading, get some perspective on your life. And um, I wasn't a, was never a skeptic, but never found the time before. And so I went in and got a reading. And this total stranger began to tell me what kind of person I was, my weaknesses, my strengths. And I was just amazed and wanted to know if I could learn how to do that. Not for purposes of being a psychic, but just to know if I could do that. And so after dabbling in that and then i began to dabble in religion and in psychology it became time after about three years of doing that to begin to honor that on a part-time basis and i thought it would just be kind of mm -hmm. fun and sport and lo and behold after three four years of part-timing it i had to make a choice do i stay with the university or do i go psychic and i decided to go psychic and i've been been this way ever since well i'm glad you did and i'm glad you're here and, and pat we're going to get to you uh, right. after the commercial break okay. all right folks we'll be right back after the short break again the number here 1-800-94-BAY-TV. Call, and we will take your calls. Thanks, folks. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Bay TV Life on this Friday evening. I'm Vicki, your host with uh, psychic Pat Brown. Uh, excuse me. Astrologer Pat Brown and psychic uh, Ellen David Young. That's right. Okay. Uh, we have some calls, but before we go to the call, I want to find out why Pat. Why Pat? you got into this field? Well, Vic, I was a professional artist. I was with my paintings. There was a, a questionable experience that I was really protected from, and someone made a statement to me about this. Jupiter's in Capricorn. Do you realize uh, how great this was for you? And I thought, well, what in the world are they talking about? So I went and had my chart done, and when I had my chart done, uh, they told me uh, several things that occurred, and, and I'm the world's greatest skeptic, so I said, well, <laughs> I'll go. So I had it done two more times. And then I said, that wasn't enough. And I did what I believe anyone who questions this particular area should do. I began to just kind of study it myself, going around, asking questions, checking into it, and constantly coming away shocked and, and surprised and saying, I can't believe those things can occur. Because astrology is a measurement. Mm -hmm. It's, I brought it's this in place. It's very old. 
to show. Well. Yes. Yeah. Uh, which is just, I don't know if you can yeah. see this, but the planets, where they are positioned at the time of a child's birth, an astrologer makes a graph of that mm -hmm. moment of time. The planets are then positioned, and the planets in those particular signs, with their exact calculated difference, means a great deal about a person's yeah. life. And I went on to find, and now doing thousands upon thousands of charts, I, I've lost count, but I know I'm past 5,000 somewhere, that it is never missed. Right. It okay. is that accurate, and it's that much of, to me, a science. I know that you all have tools. Uh, doctor, you brought some, yeah, why I, don't you explain tarot certainly cards, Certainly, I, I have three, three tools, one, two of which you can see. I, ha I brought cards, just in case someone asks a tarot card question. There are 78 uh -huh. cards in a deck. As long as you don't know what's on the other side, you get a correct answer. Because the way the universe responds is it responds out of the mystery. So out of the mystery comes clarity. These, in this little pouch here, are little marbles, color, colored marbles, and they're I Ching stones. And essentially, with each question, you select six stones out of the, the pouch, and that gives you a divination. A uh, little different from Tarot. Mm -hmm. And the third tool that you can't see is in my head. That's, yes, that's the course. mind's that's eye. The that's, mind. that's, that's clairvoyance. And I'm plugged into the whole universe. 